Well, there aren't many things better than a steak or perhaps a freshly grilled hamburger. Today, we're talking beef with Ben Haynes of Haynes Farms in Coleman, Alabama. Ben, thanks for having us out to your farm today. Tell us about your operation. Well, thanks for coming, Kevin. Welcome to Haynes Farms, Fairview, Alabama, and Coleman County. We're glad y'all are here. Um, our farm's a multi-generation farm. Uh, my dad and my brother Bart and I are, are the current makeup of the farm. Dad is generation five and, and Bart and I are generation six. That's something we're real proud of and, and uh, hope to make good decisions so there can be a generation seven soon Absolutely. enough. Absolutely. Uh, so folks are used to seeing cows on the side of the road as they, as they drive along. How is raising cattle a business? Kind of tell us how the beef industry works. Well, you, you, you hit on two things right there. there there's, there's the cattle side and there's the beef side. You think about uh, the cattle industry, we typically think of it in three sort of segments. We think of the cow-calf segment, the, the backgrounder or, or, or stalker segment, and the feedlot segment. And, and each one of those does a very different job. The cow-calf guy, which is the predominant type of operation in Alabama, is the guy with, with mama cows and, and bulls and they're, they're breeding those cows and having baby calves and, and raising those calves up to four, five, six hundred pounds and then they sell those calves. They then go typically to a stalker, backgrounder guy who's going to add a little weight, add a little value by grouping those cattle, getting them healthy and then they go on to the finishing phase in the feedlot somewhere, typically west, uh, north and west where they're, where they're finished in, in preparation for, for harvest. Uh, and that's where the beef comes in. And, 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 and that comes from the processor, on the processing side. Uh, like I say, most operations in Alabama are, are cow-calf and backgrounder and stalker operations, or some combination of the three. Uh, here, that's kind of what we do. Cow-calf, we background our own calves, and then we finish some number of them for harvest uh, here locally. All right, well, thank you for that explanation. We've got a question here from one of our viewers, Lucy Hartley Del Martyr, who contacted us through our Facebook page, who wants to know what type beef cattle and what type grass produces the tenderest steak with the best fat marbling? Well, first of all, all cattle have got the genetic ability to marble. I think the differences are how easily they marble. So, so we think about cattle that that are a little more uh, European in origin, Angus cattle, Hereford cattle, they tend to marble a little quicker, maybe not quite as much muscle as, as some of the other breeds of cattle like Charlet or Limousine, but, but any cattle have the genetic ability to marble. As far as what grass, you know, we don't, we don't grass finish cattle here um, and, and, and really don't do that for a lot of reasons, but, but one of the big challenges in, in grass finishing is you need grass with a whole lot of energy to provide marbling. Um, and that's, that's kind of a challenge for us in the southeast, or can be at certain times of the year. You mentioned uh, grass finishing. Yeah. Well, what is the difference between grass finishing and grain finishing? Well, understand that the good Lord made these things to eat grass, and that's, and that's the way things work the best. But over time, the industry has developed and, and demand has developed for grain finished beef. It's a different flavor, it's a different texture, and, and, but, but really that grain part of that, of that uh, animal's diet is really just in that last phase, in that feedlot finishing phase. Um, so, so we grow them on grass the vast majority of their life, and they're just, they're just fed some grain there at the end, that last 100, 150, 180 days to, to reach that, uh, that, that tenderness profile, that taste profile, and that, and that flavor profile that the consumers want. Ben Haynes, thank you for having us out to your farm today and telling us more about the beef business. Kevin, thank you. If you have a question for an Alabama farmer, just send it to askafarmer at simplysoutherntv.net. What sustains us? Food, family, faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. 
They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. If you need health insurance for any reason, the experts at Alpha Health can help. Understanding your health insurance options is not always easy, but they can even assist you in applying for subsidies to cover a portion of the cost. Plus, Alpha Health can help you sign up for a Medicare supplement and Part D prescription drug plan. During the special enrollment period, call Alpha Health at 800-392-5705. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. 